I want to talk to you about vibrato. Vibrato is a very, very powerful tool when it comes to expression on the violin. Vibrato also contributes to the individuality of one sound. It's a very unique approach. Everyone's vibrato is different. And put together with a unique sound, it becomes a very, very distinctive quality that helps to identify a player. So there's, there are different kinds of vibrato. There is arm vibrato that comes from elbow. There is wrist vibrato that comes from here, from this joint right here. And then there's finger vibrato that comes from that joint. But we're gonna focus on two most commonly used vibratos. That is arm vibrato and the wrist vibrato. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a couple of exercises for the arm vibrato. For that, you will need a table, table surface. But I'm going to use my violin. What you need to do, you need to place your first finger of your left hand on the table surface, just like this. Make sure that your elbow is slightly elevated right above the wrist and the weight flows down to your fingers. Okay, you put it on the surface of, of a table and you start wiggling. Make sure that the wrist is not flimsy, it's in locked position. And make sure that el the shoulder is also in locked position because the motion has to be generated in the elbow. So you put it on the surface and you start wiggling just like that. It should feel like your finger is glued to the surface and you're trying to get free, get, uh, get separated from the surface very carefully without hurting yourself, just like that. Okay, when you're done with the first finger, you can move on to the second finger. And while you do that, do pay attention to what muscles are engaged in, in, in producing that motion. After the second, you can try the third, like that. The finger should be round. And after the third, you can move on to fourth, like that. After that, I want you to try uh, vibrating with two fingers. Once again, wrist is in lock position, shoulder is in lock position, and only elbow that generates the motion. All right, two fingers at once, then two and three, and then three and four. Same idea, your, your fingers are glued to the surface and you're trying to set free, okay? Now, at the very last, I want you to do all four fingers. Now, keep in mind that this will feel a little bit more challenging because the motion is a little bit more restricted. But at the same time, it will help you to realize what, mu what muscle group is engaged right here, okay? All right, because we're going to transfer this onto violin in a moment. All right. Okay. Now, when you, when you try it on the violin, what I need you to do, I need you to imagine that the violin neck is a bar and you do a pull-up or a chin-up. So hang, hang with your fingers and then do a chin-up. So basically raise your arm because we need the weight of your arm pulled on your fingers like this, okay? So your finger is round should not collapse that way, it should always be round, okay? You feel the weight of your arm, and slowly you start moving your arm, like this. Very narrow at first, and then you widen it, okay? Make sure the finger is glued and you try to set free, okay? Okay, and then you can widen it a little bit, but not much. And make sure that, that is, this, the wrist is not flimsy and the motion comes from the elbow, like this. All right, and the final result should sound like Now, I'll talk to you about uh, wrist vibrato. Wrist vibrato, unlike Arm vibrato 
comes from the wrist, okay? And what you need to remember, actually in, in both instances, your arm should be very relaxed, okay? Locked position does not mean stiff. It, it should, it's just the motion is restricted, but it's very relaxed. It shouldn't be tense whatsoever. So when you do this to your arm, okay, your, your wrist flaps back and forth. That's the idea. That's what we're looking for. Now, I have a couple of exercises to show you. Okay, find the middle between your index finger and your thumb. It's right here. And facing your hand, I want you to push with your right hand finger like this. And then bring it back like that. And do it a few times. Do it a little faster, okay? All right. And I want you to feel what's happening right here because these are the muscles that are responsible for bringing your, your wrist back, okay? Uh, the next exercise is going to be you grab, you, you grab your finger, you grab your thumb, and you try to wave like that, okay? After that, I want you to try it on the violin. And trying on the violin, I want you to do it in third position. For instance, find um, A with the second finger in third position on G string and try to slide back and forth using only the wrist. Just like that. Also, another exercise would be to kind of throw your fingers up the fingerboard like that. And then when you become comfortable with all of that, we can move on and try to uh, find it on the violin, actually play it. But this time, I want you to, to stick to one spot on the string. Do not slide back and forth, but find that note. Well, let's, let's, let's keep that A and stick to it, but, but, but the motion will be the same. So uh, um, here we go. There is your wrist vibrato. 